Welcome to the simple neuroscience of attention. There's a lot going on in our world every day, all the time. Think of an airport with its thousands of travelers, each going in their own direction, food stalls with people eating and chatting, and the constant drone of flight announcements. The airport is going to be used as an analogy for the craziness of life as a whole for understanding the neuroscience of attention. Attention can be broken down into two types, top-down and bottom-up. Top-down involves conscious control from higher cognitive areas, such as the prefrontal cortex. This would be used to search a flight board for the gate of your flight. Bottom-up attention is an involuntary process where attention is caught by elements of the environment, such as looking to get out of a way of a cart with a blaring horn. Bottom-up attention functions to keep us safe from dangerous events by orienting ourselves to loud noises and bright lights. Whenever our body does something to keep us safe and alive, such as eating, our brain releases a small amount of the award hormone, or dopamine. People with ADHD have a lower natural amount of dopamine, and this means that every little dopamine release by the brain is a much bigger reward. So every little text tone or bird flying past the window or sound coming from the kitchen is similar to a blaring cart horn demanding attention. This is why it's so important to establish a distraction-free environment and to take frequent breaks and to reorient prior to starting work. So now we're gonna play a quick little airport-themed attention game. So you have 10 seconds to find what gate the flight to Berlin is leaving from. Good luck. Did you find it in 10 seconds? If you did, good job. Let's talk about why having moving objects makes it harder for us to control our top-down processing. It's because there's a system called the tectospinal tract that's part of the spinal cord, and its only purpose is to orient your attention to things that have the potential to be a threat, such as fast movements and loud sounds. And it's part of your spinal cord, so you can't consciously control it. So in order for you to focus on other things, the prefrontal cortex has to override this function. This is also why limiting distractions when you work makes it easier to get things done. So be kind to your prefrontal cortex and stop making it fight your automatic systems by putting away things that make noise or light, maybe like a phone. <laughs>